we are aware that uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa government has made many unpopular and seemingly oppressive decisions in the past, but that does, should not form the basis upon which the clergy will theologically mislead the nation even with the issuance of uncalled for caste threats. We know that our, our submission may make us so unpopular and might cause us to become so unpopular, but we also understand that we have a moral responsibility to set the record straight. In 2019, we are in record as a church that we are in record and we dared the Catholic Church in particular to refund all the monies which they had received from the politicians because they believed that that money was debt. But to date, there is no any information that any monies were refunded. It has also caught our attention and it's so clear to us that the threat to refund or to return money only comes into play when the money in question is from Dr. William Samoy Ruto and not from any other politician, including the white NFROPs that are presented by the former president, Uru Kenyatta. Therefore, we take this to be more of a personal issue between the clergy or the priests and the president. It is not a corporate thing and neither can it qualify to be a moral issue. I want to say this and we want to say this, it is good for public image and emotional mass weeping to appear to refund two million when the said church and the organization has received offer three billion from the said individual and his friends from 2017. We still dare the Catholic Church and any other church that feels offended by the money given by politicians to refund the money. They still have room. They can follow the example of Zacchaeus in Luke chapter 19, verse 8, where he refunded and even he refunded four times. We still dare the Catholic Church. Otherwise, uh, if they do not become consistent in what they say, we will take that to be an application of double standards. On this, we are all in error, both the clergy and the politicians. Religious leaders should not use tough economic times to play saints instead of being culprits. This tradition of blackmail should not be allowed to grow in our country. If they believe they qualify and they are justified to issue the cars, I dare them to try. And this same cars will eat them and their families. Because you must be innocent. And as far as I understand, the clergy in Kenya are not innocent. They and the politicians have together participated in issues of money exchange.